Hello Libra, I'm here to do your reading. Um, the song I got on shuffle for you guys was Girls Like You by Maroon 5. Um, let's forget about the girl thing, but I do feel like somebody is, can't get enough of you, wants to spend a lot of time with you, um, and yeah, I feel like there's somebody who's really kind of wanting to overdose on you, or like just get in as many hours as they can. Somebody's really falling in love with you. Obviously, this can be vice versa, and you could be feeling this way about somebody, like you just can't get enough of them, but I do feel like this is somebody towards you. So, let's see. Some of you might be in a new connection, and it's still like that new feeling of like, I just want to spend all this time, or you kind of reach this threshold where you're starting to really like some, somebody's starting to really like you. We'll see. Um, three oracle cards for Libra, please. Refine your attention. Um, two more, two more. Address your addictions. Ay, ay, ay. And look forward. Okay. So, <sighs> refine your attention. Somebody's attention's really refined on you. I do feel that. Um, where is your attention, Libra? What are your addictions? Uh, you could have a tendency to, uh, for some specific ones of you, you could have a tendency to really like put yourself all in like from the beginning um, or kind of be consumed by something. You could be like, because addressing your addictions, there could be multiple addictions. Maybe you have addictions over thinking something. You run all the guys like me and some that. Um, but there is this need to kind of focus on where you're going. Focus on where you're going, what you're doing. Uh, that's that refine your attention. I'm going to get into the reading and kind of see if we can't get more into what the oracle cards are saying. But that is your advice here. So bottom of the deck, we've got the justice card. Damn, you guys are just right away in your own reading. Justice card, Libra energy. This is about being balanced. This is about being like fair. This is about, you know, you know, I, I'm using this new tarot deck. It's called the Black Tarot. So it's definitely, um, oh no, it's called, yeah, the Black Tarot. It's a little bit darker, but see, this is the Justice card, like the black and white. Um, like, not everything's black and white, but there's a situation that you're dealing with right now that you have to look at it kind of black and white. I don't know. Let's see. Overall energy between you and another person. We've got the five of spheres. So, uh, you could be needing to focus on your finances right now. Maybe the universe is saying, like, focus on your finances. Even though there's somebody here who's, like, wanting a lot of your time. Um, it could be saying, like, focus on your, focus on your finances. Uh, you, gosh, get me a clarifier. Um, queen of spheres. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and say this is about finances. The universe wants you to focus on your finances. We went from somebody's obsessed with you, somebody's wanting to spend all this time with you to <laughs> focus on your finances. I'm sorry. Uh, but maybe you're addicted to like romance and kind of you need to find a balance. You need to find a balance here because you could be letting something fall by the wayside and they're saying like, no, 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 no. Maybe you're spending a lot of money. Like maybe you're spending a lot of money on this person. Um, knowing your, knowing your value, not letting anybody leave you out in the cold. If this is a, isn't about money, there's like, you have to face an addiction. You have to somebody kind of, uh, because maybe you're the one who wants to spend all this time with this person and they're kind of, you know, keeping you at an arm's length or they're they, maybe they came on strong and then, like, they're pushing you out. Um, but there is, like, you need to focus on... You need to focus on yourself and your value and your, like, foundation because, yeah, there is this need to kind of gain some kind of stability and gain some kind of balance. That's why that justice card came out. This is like a karmic lesson you have to learn in this lifetime about being able to balance 
that like work and play. I don't know. That's what's coming up, Libra. Let's see. Ace of Swords. Some kind of truth, some kind of clarity. Four of Spears. There we go. The devil. Damn. There's that addiction. There's that addiction. What's going on here, Libra? So we got the Ace of Swords. This is like clear communication. This is clarity. Four of Pentacles is something, something here that's like not able to let go of. This person's gripping tight. Sometimes this can talk about, you know, having a guard up, having a wall up. But this could sometimes talk about not being able to let go of something. Being a little stingy here. Being a little stingy here. Not having budge room. The devil. The devil. This devil is kind of spooky in this deck. Look at him. All right, let's see. Ace of Swords. Why is this Ace of Swords here? <sighs> Ace of Swords. The Moon card, the Six of Spears, and the Moon card. Again, with the, the finances, there's some kind of, like, money. There could be money coming in for you. Money coming in for you. Um, but the Moon, this is, like, illusion illusion some kind of abundance here there's an illusion to you about what abundance is sorry i'm like i got some messages from the cards it's interesting because like in this six of pentacles it's like there's one hand that has all the like spiritual stuff because that's your left hand which is your the immortal hand or whatever they say you can research that and then you have your material hand your right hand um that's why normally when you get palm readings you give your left hand so this is like there's some kind of illusion between like there's some kind of illusion that's blocking you from like spiritual and the material. So you could be creating um, illusions around abundance or around give and take for yourself. Uh, and it's needing you to kind of break down those beliefs of what that is, what, what it is to you. Um, Cause there's something you're not wanting to budge on. There's something you're not wanting to release, to let go of, to open up to. And it's based off of this like illusion that you have. Illusion that you have that can be simply deconstructed by kind of leaning more into your spiritual side of knowing that there's plenty to go around. So even if you're focused on somebody who maybe is like withholding attention from you, it's like knowing that that's not that's not what's really happening here the devil card this is addictions for some of you i think this is like a material thing though the devil why is the devil here capricorn energy could be dealing with a capricorn who obviously capricorns are very much like you know they have a reputation of being rooted in like material things which I say that having six Capricorn placements in my thing, in my chart, like they're very material. Um, any earth sign, uh, the devil here, but it's also like the devil's in details, you know, four of wands. So this is part of like, yeah, kind of what I'm saying. The devil's in the details, part of you moving forward, you moving forward on your path is addressing your addictions it's looking that devil straight on in the face um straight in the face you have to look him straight in the face um because there's something you're not wanting to let go of there's something you're not wanting to let go of and it's hindering you it's hindering you refine your attention this is literally like there's something that needs your attention and it's internal it's totally internal something that you're afraid to face you have to face you have to you just have to um the tower card damn see look there's something going on here for you libra i know this was like a a, a love reading 
but there's something there's something up there's something up and it could be that like a lot of your connections kind of go the same way um and there's something you gotta look at and it has to do with spirituality it has to do with illusions has to do with how you view abundance or how you view abundance coming towards you. There's a belief that you have to look at that you have to break down. And it's going to be, it's not going to be easy because it's like, since the devil's here, it's like this could be um, something that's harder to face. But you got to like, you got to look the devil in the eyes and kind of face that fear. Face that fear address that fear address whatever fear it is address why it comes up um doing all this type of work you know the tower card so that you can break down that belief the hermit going inwards virgo energy the star ah healing 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 i do see you healing from whatever this is but it's going to take you looking it directly in the face and kind of shattering whatever belief this is and it could be in regards to love but it could re be in regards to like what defines your value you know do you think that having lots of money defines your value uh do you feel that you know your value is based on what you have materially because that's not that's not the case you know that's not true the tower card Eight of Swords, yeah, so there's this feeling of indecisiveness, but you're being forced to make a decision here. You're being forced to look inwards because the situation's going to keep on coming up and it's going to keep on coming up worse and worse and worse until the lessons learned. And I do feel like this has something to do with material stuff. I think maybe you spend a lot of money. <laughs> I know I'm like, it sounds like I'm pointing fingers, but for some of you, you could be spending a lot of money. Um, because you think you need to come across as a certain way to like have a certain type of value. So you could be kind of, you know, uh, spending more than you're comfortable with, but, uh, there's something you got to look at. There's just something you got to look at. And I'm going to go ahead and say it has to do with material, has to do with the material star card but I do see you being successful in healing this eight of wands look you go from the eight of swords to the eight of wands this is like once you heal this you're moving fast you're moving fast towards the actual abundance that you want so it's like in order to get the abundance you want you have to be willing to let go because there is this feeling of like spending but at the same time like stinginess because you don't want to release what you have yeah, it's like an attachment to material things. And then once you kind of release that attachment, you're actually going to move forward so much further and you will be very abundant. You just have to reshift a belief of your strength. Leo energy, queen of cups, tapping into that vulnerability and queen, king of swords being very, very upfront with yourself. So there's a lot of internal stuff going on right now. Um... And, and now that I listen to that song, it's like maybe in order to, you might feel like in order to get somebody's attention, you might have to like behave a certain way because even that song says like, girls like you run around with guys like me. Um, let's see, strength card, the sun, two Leo cards. So double Leo, you could be dealing with a Leo. Um, strength in the sun. This is about you kind of, you know, prioritizing your attention, putting yourself, what's the center of your, especially with that Leo energy of kind of focusing on outward expressions. The king of swords here. We got the three of wands, the king of wands, and the temperance in reverse. So there is a need to balance truth, honesty, with uh, that passionate and like there's a need to balance. There's a need to balance um, this juxtaposition of like your passions and your thoughts, your mental. Three of Wands, what you want is going to come in. 
that there is a need to find some kind of balance, some kind of flow, because there's something that's out of balance here. There's something that's out of balance here, and you're starting to feel it. You're starting to feel it, and it's causing this, like, shattering of your beliefs. Um, and even with that Strength Sun card there, it's like you have to reshape how you view something, how you view your value, how you view yourself. Um, it, 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 there's this need for balancing spiritual and material. I just see that. Like, you you have to tap more into the illusion, the illusion that you're seeing and kind of face the illusion. Let me look at the... Um, let's look at the thing. I need a girl like you. Yeah, yeah, I need a girl like you. I spent the last night on the last flight to you. I took a whole day out trying to get way up. Um... Girls like you love fun and yeah, me, th me too. What I want when I come through, I need a girl like you. So it could be a lot about like you feeling like you have to hide behind some kind of illusion or some kind of mask in order for somebody to, you know, give you all this time and attention or vice versa. You feel like you have to kind of re-navigate your whole life in order to give this person attention when there is this need for balance, there is this need for balancing kind of that spiritual and that thing. So even if it's like really fun for you to be in this connection, they're kind of saying like you need to keep things solid because maybe the addiction is that you have a tendency to kind of let everything that you've like, you know, worked on fall by the wayside if somebody new comes into your life. Um... Or, you know, reaching some kind of stability for yourself and knowing that you can have it all. But there is this need to kind of look into something. That, 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 that's what's being called of you right now. It's like, I know it's not super love related, but it is because it's about how you're going to move forward in a connection. But they're wanting you to kind of address something, address something that you have, that you have to look at. And it's about how you perceive yourself, your value, what your value is connected to. Because um, you might be like, you know, the only way somebody will like me is if I do all these things, if I have all these things, and that's just not the truth. And it's like, you know, when you shift that, who are you really attracting? You know, if that is the case, then like, maybe that's not your person. Or maybe these people, you know, if you're not really being authentically true to yourself or you feel like you're putting extra burden on yourself, um, that's a lesson that needs to be learned here. So Libra, that's what I'm seeing for you guys. And the extended, I'll look more into the situation, into what it is that needs to be healed here, um, what messages they, there are for you, advice from spirit, what's happening unexpectedly, and what's blocking you from moving forward. So if you're interested in that, click the link in the description box and I will see you guys there. Bye.